In the realm of digital storage, finding the fastest external SSD is a game-changer for tech enthusiasts and professionals alike. Whether you're beefing up a top-tier computer or just looking for speedy file access, a high-quality SSD is crucial, especially when many devices fall short in storage speed. If you're asking, what is an SSD? It's a faster, more reliable alternative to the traditional hard drive. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 5. Sabrin Rocket Nano V2 Fastest for longer read and write performance. This is the second incarnation of the Rocket Nano, and it provides up to 4 TB of space in a very compact and well-engineered enclosure. Milled from a solid aluminium block, the Nano V2 can withstand impacts and force that might destroy other drives. However, Sabrin hasn't quoted any IP specifications for it, and they only offer a 3-year warranty, less than the 5 years that most SSDs of this spec get. More of an issue is that the Nano V2 has no supporting software applications 10 months after it launched, not even a firmware updater. Most external SSDs come with some backup tools, but this one doesn't. It offers 1,500 megabytes slash of throughput for those with a Gen 2 X2 USB port, and it can sustain at least 800 megabytes slash for substantial file transfers without overheating. Compared to other similar drives like the Adata Elite SE880 and Corsair EX100U, this is a desirable aspect. When matched against other options, like the Crucial X10 Pro and Kingston XS2000, the Nano V2 can be more expensive in some sizes, even if it can't match the features set of those products. If it were cheaper, around the same price as the Corsair EX100U, it might be a good choice, but currently, it costs more at all the available capacities. Sabrin makes good quality hardware, and the Nano V2 is well-engineered but lacks the supporting software and standards approval that other brands offer. Number 4. Kingston XS2000 The pocket-sized Kingston XS2000 is a delightfully small portable SSD, but don't let its size fool you. It's just as fast as the likes of the Crucial X8 and Samsung T7, and it's built as robustly as you can ask for. The drive is water-resistant, dust-resistant, and shockproof with a rubber sleeve, and although misses out on a fully-fledged IP67 rating, it is IP55 certified. It's also incredibly lightweight, weighing 29 grams, and its 13x31x67mm dimensions make it as small as you can get right now. Speed is key here, and it reached 1062 megabytes slash as red speed and 999 megabytes slash as write speed in our testing via Crystal Disk Mark on a Thunderbolt 4 port. Kingston claims it can reach up to 2000 megabytes slash read and write speeds but it needs to be connected to a machine through a USB 3.2 Gen 2X2 port. The Kingston XS2000 also isn't the cheapest option, with the best value for money delivered by the Crucial X8. But it's certainly worth going for if you're looking for the most compact and fastest external SSD that money can buy right now. Number 3. Crucial X8 Fastest and best value for money external SSD you can buy in 2024. The Crucial X8 Portable SSD only falls behind the Samsung T7 in our speed testing by a fine margin, proving itself as a blisteringly fast option in its own right. Given the speeds it can reach against options across the wider external SSD market, there's little else that compares if it's bang for buck you're looking for. Although the Samsung T7 is faster by a slither, the 1TB variant of the Crucial X8 is available for a heavily discounted 55 pounds and 98 pence at the time of writing, compared with the former, which you can grab for 69 pounds. We describe the Crucial X8 as a robust and stylish SSD that outperforms many external SATA-based SSDs by some distance. The only caveat is you can only get those top speeds if you've connected the SSD to your device through a Thunderbolt pre or USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. Otherwise, speeds are capped at up to 450 megabytes slash for read and write speeds. 
Sure, it's around the same as what you'd expect from many SSDs, but it's disappointing if you're expecting the highest speeds available. With great performance comes a few connection caveats. To get the best out of the Crucial X8, you need a Thunderbolt 3 or USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. With that box tick, this is a robust and stylish design that outperforms external SATA technology SSDs. Number 2. Samsung T7 Fastest external hard drive for Mac The Samsung T7 portable SSD has been around for a few years now, with TechRadar Pro reviewing the Samsung T7 Touch in 2020. This family of hard drives has cemented itself as among the fastest money can buy. Competition has arisen in the form of the Crucial X8, but our internal benchmarking using Crystal Disk Mark showed the Samsung T7 pipped its rival to the post, recording 1,032 megabytes slash read and 924 megabytes slash write speeds versus 914 megabytes slash read and 930 megabytes slash write. There are four available capacities for the T7, 500 gigabytes, one TB, two gigabytes, and a recently released four TB shield variety with the technology based on NVMe, which powers USB 3.2 Gen 2 connectivity, compatible with Thunderbolt ports on Macs, offering far better performance than SATA-based SSDs. Weighing 58 grams and stylish in appearance, there's little beating it. Three different capacities are available, 500 gigabytes, 1 TB, 2 TB, and two color schemes, black and silver. Both the T7 and T7 Touch come with a three-year limited warranty. Number 1. SanDisk Professional PROG40 SSD Geared toward creative professionals and users with heavy workloads, the SanDisk Professional Pro G40 SSD is the fastest SSD available at the moment. We recorded speeds of more than 3,150 megabytes slashes for reads and 2,700 megabytes slashes for writes in our testing using the 2TB model, which makes it the fastest Thunderbolt drive we've seen by some distance. Only the OGO you see in Void Pro Avtex has come close. There's no beating the PROG40 for speed. In fact, it's an exceptionally well-engineered piece of technology. But there are a handful of considerations to make, meaning it might not be the best option. Its maximum speeds can only be hit over Thunderbolt 3, and it's limited to roughly 1,000 megabytes slash over USB 3.2 Gen 2. The price, too, is exorbitant when you compare it with many more than suitable competitors especially if you're limiting yourself to a USB 3.2 Gen 2 connection anyway. However, if you're looking to transfer, say, 8K footage in as short a time as possible, and budget is certainly not an issue, then it's an ideal piece of kit. When connected via Thunderbolt, it offers blistering speeds and acceptable performance over USB. However, regardless of that, given the price, unless you have some serious cash to burn, this isn't an impulse purchase.